I'm going to try to attempt to give you a quick walkthrough on the Amaziagraph app. I uh, got this a couple of days ago and I've been playing with it and um, it's quite user friendly, but if you've not worked with this sort of a little program before, it, it might be a little confusing to you. So the Amaziagraph app, you can draw in several different manners. You've got a basic uh, mirror image, so you're drawing one half of an image, it will draw the other half for you. You've got rotation, you've got two mirror kaleidoscope, which is the one I've been playing with quite a bit. You've got um, a variety of tiles and hexagons, squares, rotation, uh, you can do tessellations, all that sort of thing. But what we're going to do is we're going to work with this two mirror kaleidoscope. And the default seems to be nine. I'm going to show you how to change that. So we're going to go to adjust grid. You've got a slider up here and you can change it. I tend to like to work with a 12. You can go right up to a 30, uh, which can be a lot of fun to play with. So I'll just hit done and get out of there. On the top of the bar here, we've got a variety of tools. We've got our brush or pen. Um, a bucket, which is your coloring tool, your eraser. This is your palette, and we're going to choose black because we're going to work with a black line. These are your line weights. This is your opacity, and this is the smoothness of the line. To get your um, most smooth and accurate looking line, it's best to choose that one there. At least that's what I've discovered so far. So you have that across the top, but you also have, if you notice this little icon, when I touch that, there's also tool settings. So you have greater control with your line weight. You can bring it up even further and you can change some of your line pattern. It's limited. You've got some, some dashed lines. It's not a big deal, but you do have that there. And then we'll touch it and get rid of it. I'm using a stylus. You can use your fingers. Uh, this is a pencil by Paper 53. Uh, it's Bluetooth connected and I like to use it with some of my other apps. So this is the one I'm using. Now when you're going to draw, you can, as I said, uh, styluses are great, but if you don't have one and you want to check this app out, you can use your fingers. In order to get, whether you're using a stylus or your fingers, you need to pinch zoom to get right in there to work your details. Your image is only going to finish at the size of whatever screen you're working on. I've got an iPad mini too, so I don't have a very large screen. For those who have the iPad Pros and, and the, uh, the great big screens, they're gonna be able to do larger images. But in any case, this is working for me. So I'm going to just two finger stretch, so that I'm going right into the center of my graph. And I'm just going to begin to draw. And whatever I draw is going to be reflected 12 times because that's the, well, 24 times actually, because that's the uh, graph I've chosen. So as I draw a line across, it's going to meet. I can just do another one to create a little circle. I can move it. And I can just draw. I can go in between those. Now you'll notice I, I crossed over my line and as soon as I do that, the line continues to cross. So we've got our undo button and I'm gonna get rid of that because I didn't like it. I can bring it up more. If you've got little areas that you didn't quite get into, you can go in and touch them up or you can keep using your undo button. And we can continue to draw in that manner. We can change our line weights if we want to go much smaller. And let's say we want to put in some smaller details. I can change my line weight and you'll see the difference that that makes. You can change your line weight back up. You can go up high. You can change your color if you wanted to change your color of line. You can do that as well. So when you're working with a drawing, you will want to, obviously, you're going to want to be able to save it and you're going to want to be able to uh, perhaps save a copy of it so you can come back in and maybe do something a little bit different to it as you work out. You may, you may do a center that you really, really like, 
and you and you want to do a couple of variations. So this is where this little folder here comes in. We're going to touch that and you're going to have collections. Under all amazeographs, everything I've drawn is going to be in here. And then you can break them down into other collections. But we're just going to we're just going to, we're not going to create a new collection. We're just going to go into, we'll go back here where I've got all of them. This is the one I was just working on. So if this particular one, if I wanted to make a second one that I can experiment with different things moving out, I'll hit this edit and I will select that drawing. If I hit this icon here, it created another one for me. I'll just hit done. So now I have two of that same drawing and I can continue on with that drawing. I can bring it back in and I can continue working on it. Now, if I want to uh, work on this on my computer, for instance, on my PC, I can send that to myself. Or maybe I just want to share it with friends. I want to post it to Facebook, whatever. One of the things you might want to do is you may want to get rid of the grid. You've done a really nice drawing and you want to get rid of those lines. You go in here again and you'll see display grid. If I click that, the grid is gone. I can put it back on. Now, in order to send it to myself, and let's say I want to send it like that, I hit this icon here and you're going to see share and print. If I hit share and print, a few different options come up. I can send it to Facebook, Messenger, iChat, or simply email it to myself if I pick that, I, or email it to anyone for that matter. Also in here you have preferences, and in preferences um, you're going to, you can export raw images and you can export high resolution artwork. So there's lots of options. You also have over here, um, when you want to choose a new drawing, you've got all of these options here. So you can draw with absolutely no symmetry at all, just a plain drawing. You can draw, as I said, with a, uh, a mirror image, drawing one half of an image and the other half will automatically, magically appear two mirror kaleidoscope, which is what we were working with, rotation, which simply rotates the line out. Then we've got a variety of different kaleidoscopes, uh, hexagons with rotation, plain hexagon squares, uh, all sorts of things, including uh, tiles where you can do tessellations. And uh, this, this could be really come in handy for people who are maybe working with um, quilt ideas and that sort of thing. Um, so, that's what we have in, in the collections. And so if I want to start a new drawing again, I hit, just hit that and then pick what you want to work in. And if I want to continue working in a two mirror, I've got a new drawing. Again, notice that it seems to have a default where the line weight has gone back to that one. I like a smaller line weight. The opacity is fine and I like a smoother brush, but I also don't want to work with a nine. It seems to always want to go, the grid is at a nine. I may want to work with a six or a 12, or I may even want to go way up and work with something uh, a lot more complex. And you can have a lot of fun with, with working with those. So that's pretty much it. We're just going, I'll put it back to the 12 because that's where I normally am. I'll hit done. Now, if you wanted to work, you, you may have seen when I pulled up my collections that I had some were black with white. So if I wanted to make this a black screen and then work in a white pen, um, the best thing to do, rather than doing it here, it doesn't really work as well. I'm going to go into this tool and I'm going to choose my width and I'm going to slide it right up. So once I've got it, that's as, as big as I'm going to get it. And I'll just tap it and get rid of it. And now when I, do, when I put my stylus down, I'm going to be able to very quickly fill my screen with black. Now I'm going to choose this and I'm going to choose white. I'm going to then choose this line weight. 
still got my smoothness the way I want it and I'm all set. So now I'm going to two finger drag it out and I'm going to begin to draw and you can then see that you've got another another uh, option for playing with this. So that's pretty much, that's the tools, that's how you save it, copy it, continue to work on it, um, just play with it and you'll get the hang of it in no time. Thanks for watching.